it's another Blu-ray DVD update. Biggest one yet. Hey guys, as you can tell from the beginning of the video, I've got a Blu-ray DVD update. Uh, there's one Blu-ray and a whole load of DVDs. So let's get started right now. So, first of all, I picked up some Shaw Brothers DVDs. This is The Daredevils, which stars The Five Venoms. I've never seen this movie, but I've been picking up a lot of these Shaw Brothers movies. <laughs> Because <laughs> surprisingly enough, I haven't seen many of them. So, I thought I'd pick them up. Also picked up Jimmy Wang Yu in The Assassin. Loved him in Chinese Boxer. Loved him in Red Lotus Temple. Loved him in One-Armed Swordsman. And Asia Pole and so forth. So, I wanted to buy this one and see what it was like in this. Clan of the White Lotus, which stars... Uh, Gordon Liu and Lo Lai. Love both of these actors and martial artists. Think uh, Gordon Liu is fantastic. Then for us in this movie. From the trailer I saw, or some of the clip I saw, it's about martial arts where man changes into a woman, or woman into man. Also, I picked up from Shaw Brothers, Shaolin Prince starring T. Long. I love T. Long. I think he's awesome. Especially in the show, boys. Ladies and more so. Twin Souls starring Jimmy Wang Yo. This was, I think, the second movie in the uh, Red Lotus trilogy. I'm looking forward to seeing this because I really enjoyed Red Lotus. And that was the first movie. And this is the second one. Mercy is from Hong Kong starring Tu Long, Wang Yu, Chen Hu Min and Yu Yang Yang. Gotta love some action. This is the first proper action movie other than Asia Pole I bought from Shaw Brothers. I'm hoping it's as good as the rest because Asia Pole was hit and missed upon how you saw it. Next up, we got Blood Fist, which is quite a decent movie. I enjoy it. It's really silly and really over the top and really ridiculous in a lot of senses and a lot of ways. Billy Blanks is in it, but he doesn't really do much in the movie. It's kind of just a fighter in the background. Definitely check it out. Blood Fist 2 was slightly better. He ends up kidnapped on an island where he ends up fighting a guy called So. Yeah, you ever heard that saying a man called So? Well, let's see uh, it's in this. So, yeah, I enjoyed this. I thought this was great. And this was a lot better than the first. In this one, Don the Dragon Wilson, which is number three, Blood Fist 3, he's in prison, plays a completely different character, and it's called False to Fight. It's not a bad movie. It deals with racism, but it's kind of funny because the white supremacist guy ends up working with the black one of the black guys, and he's supposed to be a mega racist, but he ends up working with him for about half the movie. Doesn't make sense, but the movie is great in the sense that it's about loyalty and it's got this great um, cast. Love Fist Four. Uh, Die Try and stars Gary Daniels as a cameo kind of performance against Donald Dragon Wilson again, who, play, who plays a guy who steals cars as repayments and so forth. And the movie is really sucks compared to what it could have been. Scott Cat Sassoon in it, who died at 33 of an overdose heart, in dose heart attack, which is kind of sad because she was only 33 at the time. But yeah, it's an alright movie, but at the four so far, it's not that great. Then we've got Eastern Condors. I've got, a whole, I've got a whole load of Hong Kong Legends movies, and this was the first one, Eastern Condors, starring Samo Hung. Uh, this movie is a good movie. I've seen it before. It's got lots of action in it. It's not one of my favourites by any means, but I had to add it to the collection. I have the Blu-ray, but I bought this because I like the Hong Kong Legends uh, DVD series. Next up, I've got... Body Weapon, which is one of those movies which I saw years ago and I really enjoyed about a woman and <coughs> about 
a guy called Dennis and his girlfriend get who get married and they his girlfriend gets raped or well, his wife gets raped and he gets killed and the best friend up here helps her to get revenge and basically she ends up learning how to kick a man in the anus to destroy him. Awesome Asian style. Next up, Sally Hunter. Now this is another one of those movies I've got on Blu-ray. I've got it on the Blu-ray from Shout Factory. <coughs> and uh, the Shout Factory Blu-ray is okay, but it hasn't got the audio commentary on it by Bear Logan. Yes, a lot of these movies are bought because of Bear Logan's audio commentary and the special features. So I'm looking forward to watching this again on the DVD and listening to the commentary. Jackie Chan's Miracles, also known as the Canton Godfather. This is one of those films that I've never seen of Jackie Chan's, which amazes me. Because I thought I'd seen every Jack Chan movie, but I'd never seen this one. And I'm ashamed to say that. Hitman, another film I've got on Blu-ray. But I thought, you know what, I added to the collection, it was $3. Why not pick it up and add it to the collection? These all came out of the big massive box. <laughs> so, yeah. Once Upon a Time in China, which is a great, awesome Jet Li film. Once Upon a Time in China 2, which is another Jelly film, with him staying as Wang Fei Hung. Once Upon a Time in China 3, where Jet Li reprises his, as Wong, uh, reprises his role as Wei Fei Hung. I like these because they've all got the uh, audio commentaries on them, and they've got behind the scenes footage on them, so that'd be good. And I also love, you know, the artwork inside. So, so yeah, I'm really happy I got them. Once a Thief, starring Chow Yun Fat and Leslie Chong, another classic film from Chow Yun Fat. Love this film, think it's really good. Another Chow Yun Fat film, Flaming Brothers. A great film, a great uh, triad film. I love these kind of films starring uh, Chow Yun Fat. I think they're awesome. It stars Alan Tang as well. Project A, which most people know about. Great film. Got amazing stunts in it, got amazing stars in it. It's got Yun Byu, Sema Hung, and Jackie Chan in it, which you can't really ask for more because they were icons. They still are to this day. Project A Part 2, which I believe has nothing to do with the first one. I'm not sure if Jackie Chan plays the same character. I haven't seen it in years, so I'm not sure, but I'm glad I got this in my collection. These two I've both got on Blu ray, and Flaming Brothers I've got on Blu ray, but hey, audio commentaries. Fist of Fury, which is a Bruce Lee film, but most people know about. This is the Platinum Edition, which is two discs, which has tons and tons of special features, which are not on the American edition of in the Legacy Collection, so I thought, screw it. I thought, screw it, I'll pick it up. Uh, Platinum Edition, A Game of Death, another reason I picked this up was because it's got all these special features that the American one doesn't. Then there's Way of the Dragon, which has a feature length commentary on it again, which isn't on the American release. And the Big Boss Platinum Edition, which is two discs, again, because it wasn't on the American edition. Then I picked up Crime Story, which is a really great film, and I bought for the commentary. I'm, guys, just think I bought for the commentary, most of them. Um, Avenging Fist, I've not got on Blu ray, I haven't been able to buy anywhere. So I'm glad I got the DVD of it from Hong Kong Legends. Because it's not a bad film. It's not the best film. But it's far from a worse film. And I'm glad I got it in my collection again. Prison on Fire 2. This was on the original UK release magazine series. It wasn't released through Hong Kong Legends directly. It was just on a magazine series. I had a chance of picking up Prison on Fire 1. But somebody bid it up higher than I wanted to go. They bid like $13. And I was like, I want this for 5 So I was like, screw it. I'll get that on Blu-ray, that one. The Iron Fisted Monk, which has a fantastic 20-minute fight scene at the end. Sam Hung rocks, and this movie rocks also. Scorpion King, no, not Dwayne Johnson, but the Asian counterpart. Ching Kwa Lot, Wong Jin. This movie is a great movie. Got nothing to do with Scorpion King stories at all, but it's awesome. Police Story 2, starring Jackie Chung. Jackie Chung and uh, Chan. 
And it's uh, this is another one of those great movies you've got to watch and you've got to have fun with. Then I also picked up Beast Cops starring Anthony Wong and Michael Wong. Both not related to my knowledge. But awesome, awesome film. 2008, uh, if you haven't seen this, you've got to check it out. It says Erwin Quark, and it's an awesome action film. Twinkle, Twinkle, Lucky Stars, another film. This is a part of the Winners and Sinners and My Lucky Stars series. It's awesome. I love the comedy in these ones. If you haven't seen these, you've got to check them out because comedy in this is fantastic. A Chinese Ghost Story. I've never seen this before, but I've always wanted to pick it up because I've always thought it would be a good film. So in Leslie Chong. A Chinese Ghost Story 2, which is the sequel to number one. Again, I've never seen either of these, but I really wanted to, so I picked them up. Tai Chi Boxer, which is one of those films which I've really, really enjoyed in the past, and I really wanted to pick up again, because it's one of those films which is a great comedy and also great action. And it also stars the great Christy Chung in it as well. as one of the most beautiful women in the whole of Asia. The Swordsman, which is a film, again, I've never seen before by Wide Toe. And the other thing about picking these up was I've got to pick up some I've never seen before because, well, they were cheap. Dragon Lord, fantastic film, a lot of fun. Originally was going to be the sequel to uh, Young Master, but then it was changed at the last minute from, my, from what I remember. Bullet in the Head, which is an action film about war, which I've never seen before, but I've really, really wanted to see for a long time. But never had a chance to pick up the Platinum Edition. I'm glad I have because I can finally watch it. And I can finally watch all the special features in all their glory. And have a lot of fun doing stuff. Young Master starring Jackie Chan. I almost picked this up for like $28 the other day rare. And luckily enough I got it for $3 the other day in the package. So Naked Weapon which has a 2 disc Platinum Edition. And I do have the Blu-ray. But again it's got an audio commentary on loads of special features. Sadly, the 2 this one wasn't owned by the guy I bought this off of, so I'm going to have to own this until I can get the double disc edition, but I'll probably put them together anyway and keep them both. And then my last six items, The Master starring Jet Li, which is one of those films I watched on Blu-ray, and I really, really didn't like that much. I just couldn't get into it. I didn't think it was that fun at all. But I bought it for the Bay Logan commentary because I thought, you know what, I'd like to hear the commentary and hear about it and see what might be bad and what might be good about it. And then I picked up four cheap Kung Fu movies from Kung Fu Theater and they are Cobra, starring Bruce Le. Bruce and Shaolin Kung Fu, starring Bruce Le. Bruce versus Bill. Starring Bruce Lee. And Eagle vs. Silver Spox. Starring Huang Zhang Li and Mike Wong. And then, Blu-ray wise, I picked up uh, Wolf Warrior. Starring uh, Wu Jing and Scott Adkins. So, as always guys, if you've seen any of these movies, or you love any of these movies, whether they're Jackie Chan, The Blood Fist, let me know what you think of them down below, and hopefully we can get talking about some of them. If you're interested in any of them, and you want to know like what special features are on them, or so forth, just let me know down below, and I can help you with that. So, as always guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you have, thanks for watching again and take care and have a lovely day. Thanks for watching, guys.